Hey guys, it's Yvonne. Hope you're all doing well. I have here a tag I posted recently on Facebook and I got a lot of questions about it, a lot of inquiries on how I put it together. Specifically, they asked about the tool as you see here in this close up. And I'm sorry about the shakiness, um, but I basically melted it on. So I'm going to show you how I did it using the tag that you see here. So we're gonna just go jump right in and get started. I prepare by just cutting some strips of tool and for this one I used white tool. I lay the strip and I usually cut it so it's longer than the tag and I use glue. In this case I use Mod Podge and I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and I use the adhesive as an anchor to keep the uh, tool in place and what I basically do is heat set the tool onto the tag and it doesn't require a whole lot of glue just little bits a little dab here and there um, and I don't want to put any glue on the ornate plate but I do want to add glue to the flowers to the peaks of the flowers uh, to keep that in place as I apply the heat so once I'm happy with the glue application I go ahead and lay the tool down and I cut them into smaller strips just because it's easier to manage when you're heating you don't really know what you're going to end up with because it kind of just melts the tool very randomly which is okay I like that effect and so here I'm just going to apply the heat and an earlier video that I did another mixed media tag I showed how I use tool as a base layer on the tag before I embellish it and it's a very similar process that what you see here with this of course I'm laying the tool over all of the elements that I've added to the tag and so it kind of clings um, it rips it tears it gives it a very distressed kind of worn out look which um, I like and I discovered this quite by accident the melting and the adhering of the tool to your project. So there you have it. And I go on and add a few additional strips. As you'll see here, adding a little bit of extra glue where I think I might need it. Now you do have to be careful. Some of these embellishments, like the leaf um, and a little bit of the spray down on the bottom layer, it's plastic. So too much heat will melt um, your uh, greenery so you do have to be careful if you have elements that are plastic that you don't melt them down as well I slowed this down a little bit so you can see how the heat just really gets at the tool and like I said earlier it's very random how it uh, melts it and actually when I did the first one, the pink flowered one you saw earlier, I kind of cut pieces out and pulled pieces here and there to kind of fine tune the look I was going for. And I'll probably do the same with this tag here. Um, this tag, I used some Lindy's when I created the tag and I wanted to share those colors with you. The first one was Jack a frozen Jack Frost. That second one was scintillating silver. This one is a moon shadow and it's Buccaneer Bay Blue. And the last one I use is a starburst and it's a tainted love teal. Just in case you were wondering. Now here's the first tag that I showed a few close-ups so you can see the, the effect of the tool uh, once it's heat set directly onto the flowers and to additional embellishments that you may have. Now I really like the tool on these uh, on the shabby chic style of tag that you see here, but honestly I don't know that I love it on this mixed media tag. Um, I think actually I was happier with the before look. 
And that's okay because the good thing is that you can easily pull off the tool because that's just how it is sometimes with art. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you don't, but it's always fun making it, right? Thank you for watching, guys.